Communities across the country are budgeting how they will spend COVID relief aid. Thanks for watching. I'm Sarah Feely. Pottawatomie County is getting $9 million from the Federal American Rescue Plan Act. But as KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon reports, some organizations want to say in where that money goes. Yeah, after Pot County bought Mount Crescent Ski Area with $3 million, the group United Today, Stronger Tomorrow called on those officials to go to greater lengths to pull the public on how to spend the money. And it's not often this, we get this kind of windfall of funding. Founded at the start of the pandemic, United Today, Stronger Tomorrow identifies issues in rural and communities of color. They stood with the executive director of Western Iowa's Labor Federation, Pottawatomie County Democrats, these residents, and some business owners. And that doesn't mean just putting out a survey or just having town halls, making it accessible to everyone, folks that can't make it to a town hall. The group is asking for public input or public survey, and with millions of dollars left to spend in ARPA, the Board of Supervisors here says they've made themselves accessible and available. Supervisors Justin Schultz and Tim Wickman say meetings are saved on Facebook Live. Their meetings at the county court complex are public and that they've visited smaller towns. We've already done surveys of uh, our small towns and, and what they need. They say they've also worked with groups like Iowa West Foundation and Advanced Southwest Iowa to spend ARPA dollars. The county's second round of nine million in federal funds are on the way. That's when you go down the the lines of economic development and trying to do things like, you know, expanding water lines and just doing doing all the, the good projects that we know are going to, you know, basically grow our tax base down the line. The supervisors say they've talked to the group about how the money is spent. United Today, Stronger Tomorrow calls for investing in residents, local businesses and rural broadband. We're constantly told about how, oh, we're getting rural broadband, we're getting rural broadband, but we're not. Supporters in United Today, Stronger Tomorrow want more input, but county supervisors say they've done just that. You can survey 93,000 people but the reality is, is you're probably going to get 93,000 different opinions of what should be done. The supervisors say they've contacted city councils in their smaller communities, and they hope they can keep working with the people of Pottawatomie County who stood with United Today Stronger Tomorrow. Sarah.